हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर सोसाइटल इम्पैक्ट पार्ट वन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी सो टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द न्यू टर्म दैट इज द इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी सो स्टूडेंट दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज इंटेंजिबल प्रॉपर्टी इंटेंजिबल प्रॉपर्टी मीन्स दैट इट कांट बी टच बाय एनी वन एल्स एंड दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ our creativity or we can say that this property is the result of our knowledge it is a property created by a single person or it can be created by a group of person and in this property the person or the group of person using their own knowledge for the ultimate use in the commercial areas and such type of intellectual property is already not available in the publicly so such type of intellectual property uh, by using we can get the ultimate use in the commercial area so examples of intellectual property just like a uh, a trademarks logo or any symbol that is used by any organization that is the intellectual property of that specific brand or of that specific organization and that intellectual property cannot be used by any other organization or any other brand name now after that we will uh, start that intellectual property right what are the intellectual property rights so it these rights are granted by the government to the owner of the intellectual property or the applicants of the intellectual property to exclude other from exploiting the ip so after granting these rights by the government to the owner or the uh, person or we can say the group of person no one can use our this property because it is the uh, right that is granted by the government to an any specific organization or we can say to any specific brand for the commercial purpose and for a given period of time no one can use that okay so this is known as the intellectual property right so now after uh, aware of the intellectual property right we uh, we have to know that why it is necessary to protect the intellectual property so in the same manner just like we uh, protect our property for the protection of the property we have to keep it in the banks or we have to provide the uh, uh, strict security so in the same manner we have to protect the intellectual property protection so first of all uh, we all of know that intellectual property is an asset and it can be misused by the owner for commercial gains any manner so other organizations owner can misuse our ip our intellectual property for the commercial gain in any manner next ip owner may intend to stop others from manufacturing and selling products and services which are duly protected by him intellectual property owner may may be uh, intend to stop others from the manufacturing and selling products and services which are duly protected by him so in this case for uh, such type of to save from such type of situation we have to save we have to protect our intellectual property ip owner intellectual property owner can willingly sell or uh, we can give the license the uh, intellectual property for commercial gains to any other third party i uh, intellectual property can be used to establish the goodwill and brand value in the market your intellectual property can be used by any other organization or any other person to establish the goodwill and brand value in the market just like if you have any goodwill and brand value uh, that uh, by using any logo or by using any trademark so any other person can hack your or any other person can steal your intellectual property to gain the brand value and to goodwill in the market so 
we it is necessary to protect our intellectual property and intellectual properties are protected uh, according with the provision of the legislation of the uh, each country wise but in india intellectual property rights can be protected and monopolized as per the following act some of them are as following first one is the patent act in 1970 that is used to protect the patent intellectual property all these are the types of the intellectual property just like patent intellectual property design intellectual property trademark intellectual property so accordingly the type of the uh, intellectual property there are different types of acts are available in the india so accordingly we can use if we face any type of problem so there are the uh, def uh, defined knowledge of the uh, such type of uh, crimes in the patent act the design act the trademark act the geographical indication of goods act so these are followings are the act that we can use accordingly if we required that now after that today we will introduce with the new term that is the plagiarism plagiarism is the act of presenting the words ideas images sounds or the creative expression of any other person that it is your own creation your own so in the uh, short we can say in the plagiarism any uh, person can try to express the other person's ideas or creativity in such a manner that is by created by own so the word plagiarism is derived from the latin word kidnap so the word plagiarism is derived from the latin word kidnap because we are misusing we are uh, using the others ideas and creativity and we are showing that it's our own work it's our own so why is it important to understand plagiarism students because plagiarism is a stealing process of any other person's intellectual property in this plagiarism any person can try to steal the intellectual property of any other person and they try to show that it is your it's his or her own property plagiarism is a cheating plagiarism is an academic offense because in this offense we can steal the intellectual ideas of any other person plagiarism is academic theft because in plagiarism uh, it is a process stealing process of the intellectual property and intellectual property is created by on intellect or by using our own knowledge so we can say it is academic theft we can say it is an academic offense also so there is need to avoid the plagiarism so what we have to do for avoiding the plagiarism so first of all we have to use your own ideas when we are expressing then always we have to use our own ideas and when someone else ideas are used always acknowledge the sources when we are using the anyone else ideas then we have to always acknowledge the sources and tell our reader also where the ideas are from so in the uh, in this type of clear information there is no types of plagiarism happening rewrite others ideas in your own words if we are using the other person's ideas then we have to convert it in our words then after that take careful notes if we are using any ideas on any other person then we have to go through the reference of that specific book or specific article or of specific ideas now after that we have to develop our writing skills if our writing skills are developed then there is no need to such types of uh, stealing of intellectual property so these are the uh, these are the reasons how we can avoid the plagiarism so in this class we will discuss uh, uh, 
from till now and in our further class we will discuss the next topic okay thank you and have a nice day